What is poppin' everybody? We are back with another video and in today's video what we are doing is I have created the European Super League in FC25 Meaning I have taken all of the 20 best teams in FC25 I put them all in the Premier League to see which one of them will come out on top in the Premier League The FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. We are going to put them all against each other to see who is the ultimate best team i don't know in in the fc 25 in the world i don't know that's what we're trying to figure out so basically it's going to be this simple i'm going to simulate to the end of the season and then we are going to look at each team which team is going to win the premier league the carabao cup the fa cup and you might be wondering what teams are in this so let's look at them right now let's go to the office let's go to the standings here are the teams starting with the bottom you got spurs then you got roma then you got real madrid probably a favorite for this PSG is surprisingly a four and a half star in this game. I was not, I was surprised, pretty surprised about that. But Newcastle up next. Napoli, I don't really know if Napoli should be here. They didn't have that great of a season last season. I will give it to them though, because why not? You got Milano FC, which is AC Milan. I still hate how it's like that. And then you got United. Then you got Man City, another probably, I'd say one or two number favorite. Then you got. Lombardia FC, which is even more stupid than Milano FC, because what does Lombardia have to do? If you know why Lombardia is Inter Milan, please let me know, because I have no idea. The logo is kind of cool though, but still, I just want to see Inter's normal logo. Let's be, let's be for real. Anyways, ten Liverpool, nine Juventus, then you got Barcelona, probably another favorite for this. Seven, you got the ultimate favorite, number one, easily gonna be Chelsea. Then you got Dortmund. I mean, they're all right. They're probably going to be in the bottom half, I'd say. Bayern Munich, another one of the favorites for Leverkusen. Maybe a one of the favorites because they are a five-star team. They're like one of the only five-star teams. They're like a higher rated than PSG. They're a higher rated than Chelsea. They're higher rated than United. They're higher rated than almost all of these teams below them. So I, they're going to be, they're going to, they're going to be good. But then we also have Atletico Madrid. We also have Villa, because you know they had a good season, they're in the Champions League now, so I decided to give them a chance. Then you got Arsenal, obviously. So, we are going to see which team is the best, and we are going to see if the Super League happens, who is going to win it. And I'll be completely honest with you, based, this new uh, Champions League format kind of like the Super League, no? It's just, it, it just doesn't end with the table, it just, it just goes into like the round of 16, blah, blah, blah. But, this, it's like a table like the super league i, I don't know like, i don't think the the new cha i don't know if i like the champions league format too much let me know what you think of it down in the comments like do you like it do you not maybe maybe not i, I don't know but i think without further ado we are ready to get into this so i'm going to get to simulating and i will see you at the end of the season so sit back relax and i'll see you when it's done all right this simulation has finished and what on earth is going on first off Man City and Arsenal are 13th and 14th, and, and the worst part of all, Chelsea's in the relegation zone! How? How is that possible? How did Roma beat Chelsea? How did Newcastle and Villa beat Chelsea? What? Alright, Man United and Napoli expected them to rele get relegated, but all, uh, Man City and Arsenal 13th and 14th is... Uh, that's crazy! There's no way! Uh, Alright, well... I get, I get, they both finished below Spurs, by the way. So... Let us find out who has made it to the next round. Let's see. Or ne next, next, who, I don't know what I'm saying. Who finished 12th, 11th, 10th, and on? Let's go. 12th is Juventus, tied on points with Man City. That's crazy. 11th is Inter Milan with 48 points. Okay. Also, AC Milan finished above Man City and Arsenal. What? All right, let's see. 10th, Atletico Madrid. All right, well, 9th, Spurs. 8th, AC Milan. 7th. Is Barcelona all right so who do we have left I know we have Madrid Leverkusen Bayern and somebody else I don't, I don't know six PSG okay okay five more left who is fifth fifth is Dor Dortmund did not finish fifth bro Dortmund did not finish better than Man City Arsenal Barca PSG and Chelsea what like how how does that happen how on earth does that happen all right well fourth Liverpool all right so the I, I guess I expected Real Madrid and Bayern to do that well. I did not expect Leverkusen to do that well. But I guess we're going to find out who finished third. I'm guessing it's going to be Leverkusen. Yes, it is. All right, that means either Real Madrid or Bayern Munich have won the Premier League. So let us find out in three, two, 
won. Real Madrid has won it very convincingly. Wow, 81 points to 62 points. That's 19 points different. F only five losses for Madrid. That is crazy. Look at that. There is a from from seventh to second. There's six points. From second to first, there's 19 points. Like what? All right, wait, wait. All right, 39 points to to 62 points. So that's. That, I think that there's a bigger gap, but there's a bigger gap between second and 20th than there. Wait, is there? I can't. I'm not good at math. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. There is not a bigger gap, but it's a very similar gap. Because, wait, wait, let me do the math. I'm not good at math, guys. Actually, I'm all right at math. So, 21 to get to 60. 20. All right. Tw 23. All right, th there's a four more difference from the gap between second and 20th and first and second. So that, that just means how dominant Real Madrid was in this. But it's not over for, you know, the other teams. They still have a chance to win two other trophies. So let us see who won the Carabao Cup. I also disabled the Champions League because it doesn't really matter because the Champions League would only allow four teams from this league anyway. So it didn't really matter that much. Let's see the Carabao Cup. Carabao Cup is won by Arsenal, beating Dortmund in the finals. I don't know how Dortmund made the finals. Let's see some of the matchups, though. Semi-finals, you had Arsenal, Liverpool, Newcastle, Dortmund. That's a very interesting final four. Then here you had, let's see, you had the final. QPR somehow made it past a lot of teams. So did Luton somehow. That makes a lot of sense. Real Madrid lost to Juventus on penalties. All right, we're the, we're, we're looking at the important stuff. Where did Chelsea get eliminated to? We lost to Liverpool. Great. That's just fantastic, F uh, EAFC, whatever. What do you uh, EA Sports hate you. Anyways, that is that is very interesting. How like some teams make it to like the later rounds. Like how on earth did QPR and Luton make it? I don't know. I, I I don't really care though. Let's go to the FA Cup final. Who won the FA Cup final? My guess. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it was won by PSG. That's my guess. Am I a mind reader? No, I'm not. They, it was Bayern. I was, I was sneakily gonna say Atletico, but. They got they lost in the finals. Bayern gets redemption for coming second in the Premier League. They do win the FA Cup, which I mean, it, like I'd rather win the Premier League than the FA Cup. Let's be honest. But all right, the final four was all of the teams. Sunderland somehow made it. How did I want to see who Sunderland beat? They beat Sheffield Wednesday. All right, wait. So Sunderland. All right, so it's just luck of the draw how these teams make it through. Who, where did Chelsea get eliminated? Let's see. They lost. We lost to Spurs. Are you kidding me? How on earth do we lose to Spurs? It's Spurs. All right. Well, Chelsea did not have a great season. You know, if I re-simulated it, it probably, Chelsea would probably be like first or something. But I don't got time. I got to go to school soon. So I'm recording this video. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to record it again. But, you know, Chelsea would definitely have, you know, done pretty well. But moving on. Let's see. Who was the highest goal scorer? It was Vinny Jr., the Ballon d'Or winner. Well, he hasn't been announced for it yet. Also, Griezmann went to Liverpool. I wait a second. I I turned the transfer window off, so Griezmann should not have moved. But I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Liverpool or Atletico didn't win anything. But Vinny was a top goal scorer, followed by Lewan Disney and Griezmann, Harry Kane, Coop and Miners is there. That's interesting. And any Chelsea players? Any Chelsea players? Where's Jackson? Nicholas Jackson is 20th. He's just the go. All right, top assister. Leandro Trossard, okay, interesting. Alexander Isak, so Isak had a good season. Saka's there, Son, Pellegrini, Mbappe, Kulisevsky. Who was the clean sheet man? Neuer was, Thibaut Courtois second, Kobel, Alisson, Donnarumma, Jan Sommer. Red cards, Balde had two red cards. You gotta get cleaner, bro. De Vries there, Digne, Mo Salah, okay. All right, any, anybody else likes to be a surprise to get a red card? Bukayo Saka got a red card, interesting. Darwizzi, Cole Palmer, no, no, not Cole Palmer, why, no, 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 that's disrespect to Cole Palmer right there, anyways, yellow cards, this one doesn't really matter that much, uh, yeah, who really cares about yellow cards, but yeah, I think that is the end of the video, guys, if you enjoyed, please hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, because we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, subscribing is free, you can always change your mind later, and it just helps my channel, we're trying to get old. we're trying to get big one day, so yeah, that is it, I will see you guys, Maybe not tomorrow, but may probably or definitely the day after that. So this is going out on Wednesday. I might post a video Thursday. I'm going to school. So I don't know if I have time on Thursday, but Friday, 100% a video coming out. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, definitely a video coming out. So yeah, please stay tuned for that. Consider hitting that subscribe button. And that is it. I will see you guys. Peace.